These five factors can kill your relationship. These factors can kill your relationship. Maintaining a marriage or relationship requires considerable effort. Given that two individuals with distinct perspectives are involved, clashes are inevitable at times. It's crucial during these times to remain attentive, adapt, and practice letting go of certain things. Amidst these challenges, there are five critical factors to bear in mind, neglecting them could result in the gradual demise of the relationship. 1. Ugly fights. Arguments are a natural part of any relationship. However, when these disagreements lack resolution and one partner storms out, leaving unresolved tension lingering like an elephant in the room, it breeds negativity. This lingering negativity can prolong the silent treatment, exacerbating the conflict. If such unresolved disputes occur repeatedly, with issues left hanging in the air, it gradually erodes the love between partners. 2. Lack of Kindness Consistently refusing your partner's suggestions with a N.O. can lead to their disappointment. Similarly, neglecting to assist with minor household tasks contributes to frustration. In contrast, if one partner does undertake these chores, the other should recognize and express appreciation for their efforts. If none of these actions occur, one partner is likely to feel neglected and taken for granted. Mutual reciprocation, acknowledgement, and assistance are essential components of a healthy relationship. 3. No sex. Sexuality encompasses more than just desire, it fosters intimacy within a relationship. If one partner consistently denies sex to the other, it may signify that the relationship is approaching its conclusion. It's crucial to address this issue and endeavor to reignite the spark within the relationship. 4. Not sharing your feelings. Suppressing your emotions and refraining from discussing matters with your partner can result in a buildup of frustration and eventual miscommunication. Additionally, your partner may perceive this behavior as creating distance and shutting them out, which is contrary to the essence of a relationship. Partnerships thrive on transparency and collaborative problem solving. Sometimes, being a supportive listener without feeling compelled to respond to everything can suffice, allow your partner to express themselves freely. 5. Making, sorry, a routine. Repeatedly uttering a word loses its significance, particularly when actions contradict it. This holds true, especially for the word, sorry. There are two detrimental scenarios associated with this, both of which need to be addressed to prevent diminishing self-esteem or escalating frustration levels within the relationship. The first scenario involves apologizing excessively, even for matters not one's own fault, or apologizing on behalf of one's partner. The second scenario entails repeatedly committing the same mistakes and offering apologies each time. Addressing these patterns is imperative to prevent the deterioration of the relationship. Why your ex may text you when you least expect it. Know why your ex has been contacting you. When the familiar notification appears on your phone, displaying the name of the person who has caused you numerous heartaches, it can stir up chaos. Receiving a message from an ex after a prolonged period can be rather perplexing. The question of, what do they want, begins to circulate in your mind, particularly when you least anticipate it. Therefore, let's explore some potential motives behind why your ex might be reaching out to you after such a significant span of time. 1. Rebound Relationships your ex might be interested in entering a rebound relationship with you due to experiencing a recent painful breakup. Engaging in casual intimacy with someone familiar can serve as a coping mechanism to help them move on from their previous relationship. 2. Getting back together. Many individuals contemplate rekindling their past relationships when they sense a desire to settle down and commit to marriage. They may perceive the present moment as ideal for prioritizing relationships and envision a future of lasting happiness with someone they once deeply loved. 3. Fear of ending up alone. Your ex might experience a fear of being alone after exhausting their dating options. This fear could unconsciously drive them to seek love in a familiar setting once more. While this may feel hurtful to you, it's a situation where you need to proceed with caution. 4. Jealousy. Your ex might reach out to you out of jealousy over your current success and well-being. 
jealousy can lead to toxic behavior, prompting individuals to engage in actions they might not otherwise consider. Your ex may be feeling the repercussions of their decision to let you go. 5. Repeating Mistakes Rekindling an old relationship can prove to be a significant error, particularly if the relationship was toxic for you. Reliving moments of anguish, stress, and heartbreak can become unbearable when you've already moved beyond those challenges. 5 Reasons Why Couples Eventually Stop Having Sex What Makes Things Worse Sex is a delightful and fulfilling activity, particularly in the initial stages of marriage when it can feel like the focal point of existence. However, over time, many couples experience a decline in sexual activity. This occurrence is quite common and can be addressed with concerted effort from both partners. Here are five reasons why couples may stop engaging in sexual intimacy, along with actionable steps to address them. 1. Boredom. A predictable pattern inevitably leads to monotony over time. When sexual encounters become less frequent and consistently follow the same routine, they gradually lose their allure. 2. Bad hygiene. Neglecting personal hygiene can lead to feelings of disgust in your partner over time. Assuming that marriage grants license to disregard basic hygiene practices, such as bathing or brushing teeth, is akin to sabotaging your own sexual relationship. 3. Conflict in ideologies. The correlation with sexual intimacy lies in the fact that frequent conflicts within a relationship can gradually affect your sex life. As feelings of resentment build up, it becomes increasingly challenging to engage in intimate moments with your partner. 4. Unhappy with their own body. Feeling dissatisfied or insecure about your body can diminish the desire for sex due to fear and self-imposed shame. It's possible for one partner to develop a complex in such situations, particularly when there's a disparity in fitness levels between partners. 5. Exhaustion. When faced with excessive work stress or other sources of tension, it directly influences your sexual relationship. Fatigue sets in to the extent that you lack the motivation for any activities. This stress is compounded when you have children at home and responsibilities aren't evenly shared, leaving you with little energy for anything else. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.